Well, everything I make ain't that great. But you guys rule with a house and a pool. With a house and a pool. With a house and a pool. Nine and zero. <laughs> <laughs> that is our current record for YGR in terms of Kutchard versus Butchered. Today we got another five projects. Okay, thank you very much for being here. Let's get started. The first one comes all the way to us from Emmy. This is a logo for a company that makes boxes with stuff that newly mothered women, like women who've just had a baby, might need. And one of the things I love the most, Emmy, is your whole like color palette thing. Now these shapes are telling me abstract arty. So uh, that's that's what I'm gonna go with. And I wanna try to keep your shapes if we can. Platinum and deep Kaumaru. Oh yeah, those are cool. And now Emmy, I think for the font, uh, I just want something a little bit more uh, dainty, I guess would be the word. And I really wanna try like a handwritten or a scripty font. So let me, let me go font searching. I'm gonna go with this. This one's called Mmm, Bracetto. They used to call me Mr. Bracetto in junior high. Hey, let's go a little bit further. I want to make like a box. Now we're looking pretty high class, my friends. And this is really cool because they almost look like like baby toys. Okay, let me make another version of this that just has a little bit more lighter colors. Oh, man, that's pretty fun. Okay, I mean, so those are the changes I would suggest. I really loved all your colors to begin with. I think they uh, create a nice palette. Hopefully it'll really feel like, oh, it's a little special, little personalized gift once a month. Okay, guys, let me know in the poll right now whether you prefer the new Direction or you prefer the old one. Thank you very much for sending this in, Emmy. Everyone, double snaps. That was a loud one. Second on today's episode of YGR is from Conj. This is a logo for Newton's Law. So it's a burger and an apple combined. <laughs> I would try that. So Conj, I think the idea is really great and the execution is getting there. So let's grab this one and uh, see what we would change. First off, I wanna make like three solid sections. Bottom of the apple, top of the apple, burger. I think we can hit home this apple idea and also the Newton idea. If we have the, the apple, look like it's kind of falling from the sky. What I wanna do is make the apple part red for sure. So let me find a color for that. Find a brown for this burger. Mm -hmm. Let's add some lettuce here. I wish I had a Kit Kat right now. What I wanna do is actually add like a black outline because I think that'll make it really fun and also stand out more. Okay, we are getting there. I just wanna add a few shadows to add a little bit more of an effect here. Yeah, thing to the leaf. And then, uh, yeah, maybe that's it. In, I think in your email you said you had some difficulties with typography. My suggestion for this is to go really fun and uh, I don't know, I, I, would, I would hand draw the typography. So we go up around the circle and we start with something like Newt. Okay. Yes. Big and fun, like this. Something like there. And now let me make like a little restaurant menu for you. Etc. Etc. So very good job, Conj. Keep going with your design endeavors. Everyone! Right elbow clap. Good job, buddy. Let me know right now in the poll whether we graped it or raisined it. Although I like, ra I like raisins too, so. <laughs> this one made like a butterfly and wafted on over to us from Megan. I believe this was an art project that she had to redesign a logo from something. So she chose this website called Skull Garden. This is cool. I think there's definitely all the assets we need. And I think some of these already are really awesome. I want to play with this butterfly and this font. Yes, ma'am. I might go one step further with your font. More artistic. Oh, there's an airplane. I'm going to make like big balls at certain places in the font and then make it a little bit crazy. Okay, cool. And then, if you made this, this is already enough for a really cool logo. Let's take this blue here. Boom, right? Look how subtle that is. And then you know how cool it's gonna stand out? That's pretty cool. I wanna fill in the shapes of the butterfly with another color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's make this black. 
I like a black. Black is cool. I would buy a sticker like this, I think, maybe. Okay, Megan, so those are some options I would recommend to try. The butterfly is super strong on its own. So very good job, Megan. Keep going. We're all rooting for you. Okay, let me know in the poll right now whether we butterflied it or made it a caterpillar. Thank you very much. Okay, this one comes to us from Stacy Carvalho. I love the way I, lo I love the way that sounds. Design house, so much cooler than like design agency or, or something. <laughs> this thing right here is very strong. Also, I'd like to change up the font and the font layout and figure out something that will incorporate well with this. What if we put this? Yeah. Uh, Azo Sands. So I do want to try your 3D effect here. I don't necessarily like repeating things. So like if you have this sign is a symbol, which is a C for creative, and then you have creative here as well. It's a little bit of a repeat. What if we get rid of all of this below here and we make it white? Okay, now I think we're getting to a really simple unified logo. Oh, and then of course we can make them any color under the sun. But if you want to keep with the original glitch idea, you might want to keep with that style. All right, Stacy, those are the changes I would suggest for creative g glitch. <laughs> I think it simplifies it quite a bit so that you'll be able to put it a lot of places. And I think it also integrates the icon and the font just a little bit better. That's where I stand, but of course, it's up in the air. So very good job and wish you the best of luck with your design house, Stacy. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know in the poll whether we glitched it or ditched it. <laughs> ditched is bad. Okay, I had to change the lighting setup, getting so dark. Next one comes to us from Toby McMillan. This is a logo for his apparel brand called Honey Apparel. So first off, Toby, I really like the composition so far. I like how this goes above the top. There's a nice H in the middle, and then you have a little smaller font. North Cornwall. Okay, first off, I think I would probably remove this circle back here. And then I'm gonna take your H and I'm gonna make the strokes just a little bit wider. Something like that, give it a little bit more girth. And then we're gonna take the shadow part, make that a little bit bigger to match. Now, then I'm gonna draw this in and connect our corners. It's gonna be a very rough job. Okay, yeah, 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 whatever. Center that, we're all Gucci. Now we're gonna get a little bit crazy, but I think it'll elevate the design just a little bit. We're gonna go filter, distort. Wave. Boom. <laughs> okay, so I got myself a t-shirt boy here. All right, this is pretty cool, but if you want your shirt to be even more expensive, hit him with the bam. Now you just went from a $50 shirt to a $250 shirt. Okay, Toby, those are the changes I would suggest. I think uh, by just making a little bit more weird, we can kind of elevate it, but very good job. And I wish you the best of, with Honey Apparel. Okay, design champs, hop in the pool, fill out the poll. <laughs> Whether we made this honey apparel sweeter or bitter. In today's dope designs, the first one comes to us from John Person. And uh, John is a longtime active member of the design champion community. You can find him in the comments. Very awesome guy. So he sent me this personal logo design. I just think uh, it's really clean really neat. And I actually went to your website. I think you've changed it since then, but very minimally. I feel like the the width between the J and the P here is even now, but it might, but you might've gone with the P width and I think you should go with the J width. Just so that when you're zoomed out like this far, you can still make out the letters a little bit easier. Very good job, everyone, double snaps. All right, next up in the dope, the logo category, we have one from Nishant. And uh, again, Nishant's been around, been around for a while. Yes, I really dig this logo a lot. It's Iron Fortress Telecom. So the, the lines are kind of a play on like uh, connection lines. You know what I'm talking about, like Wi-Fi stuff. And then it, the top of it looks like a specific fort in, in the city. I think this is a really appropriate use of a serif font. So very good job, Nishant. You are rocking it. All right, design champs, that was day three of YGR week. There's two more to go, and hopefully I can shoot a little bit earlier in the day so it's not so dark. <laughs> All right, y'all, enjoy your day today. Make some designy things. Change the world with the light that you bring to it. See you guys tomorrow morning. Stay awesome, possum, and I'll see you later, alligator. Bye. Bye.